Hey guys, Brado here with David Fingry, and uh, we are riding this uh, hill tracks, sand tracks, uh, something that is uh, open field, something that I struggle with. So I asked David to help me out because uh, you know a thing or two about riding. bit more about your new app that is coming up what is it and uh, how we can benefit from it so first of all great to see you again it's been a lot of fun we finally got some rain so we're out in the hills having some fun and um, you know one thing that I, I just noticed is that in California Southern California here we're in a little bubble there's coaches everywhere you go to any track there's riding coaches yeah. to help you but a lot of places around the world are not like that and so we wanted to build a kind of a one-stop shop for everybody who needed who could use some help mm -hmm. And I've got some pretty incredible coaches. Uh, we're calling it the Elite Coaching Collective at Elevate. Ryan Villapoto, wow. uh, Ryan Hughes, Jeff Emig, Grant Langston, Johnny Campbell for off-road, and Ricky Johnson, who's going to focus on side-by-sides and more adventure riding. That's great. Um, and so it's everything from, you know, each of us have our own sort of journey or channel through how we like to coach and the things we think helped mm -hmm. us. Uh, we're going to have Bones from Pro Circuit do a whole channel on suspension setup and, mm -hmm. and uh, how the chassis, how to make your chassis work right, how to understand it. Uh, sports psychologists, we've got trainers. I mean, it's going to be. Dude, you got it gamut. all. Yes. <laughs> when can we expect to see it online? We're going to launch it uh, the week of the first national here at, at Fox Raceway. So, oh, wow. May, May 28th, it'll be available. Uh, and you can just you can follow us on Instagram to kind of get some ideas of what it's going to be Elevate Action Sports. Okay, I'll drop the link below in the description. All right, so let's ride and hopefully you can teach me something today. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. So it wasn't perfect, but you see where I yeah. stood and then right when I start to really make my pivot, that's when I sit. Mm -hmm. Here I put my foot out. Here I didn't. You can do it however you're comfortable, but Okay. If yeah, it's a little looks... if it's a little tight short rut like that, try leaving your foot up. Don't even put your foot out. Sit like you're gonna, but just leave it on the peg. Mm -hmm. And it actually it takes a whole step out of the turn and, you, and if, as long as there's a good rut or a berm to be in, it's way simpler. Cool. David, so you saw me riding, uh, what do you think, what I'm doing wrong, what do I need to fix? So your, your technique's pretty good. Like I usually start with guys kind of body positioning and what they're doing on the bike. And um, you're about 90% of the way there with your body positioning on the bike. We made a couple changes, but mm -hmm. butt back a little bit, head forward, hips ro rotated out a little bit more. And then uh, I think the biggest thing that I saw was 
when we have hill tracks like we're riding today and it's a long sweeping shallow rut mm -hmm. a lot of times it's better to stay standing as you as you sweep into it and then don't sit until you get to the apex where the, mm -hmm. the rut starts to actually turn and hook then sit foot out and go and i think uh just watching you it seemed to smooth out your turns a little bit uh you were also kind of overturning in a little bit yeah so we worked on maybe a little more throttle that yeah. takes some time to get that right down. that's what i sometimes struggle with like i either don't stay in the rut or if i stay in the rut uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll fall over a little bit like uh, i want to go in a full circle yeah so i don't have enough speed enough momentum in that a right? little more momentum or a little more throttle if mm -hmm. you can just just start rolling on a little sooner you know because the more throttle you apply or speed you apply you have to lean more mm -hmm. so if you're already lean too much and starting to fall in more throttle so should straighten throttle. you up and, and carry you around the turn now how do i break when i come out I'm on a straightaway, then I stand up, I maybe downshift, front, rear, or how do I brake when yeah, I come into those turns? That all depends on the, the corner and the dirt. So the better traction you have, the harder you can brake. And then the more of a straight line you're going in, the harder you can brake. Okay, so if we start sweeping into a corner and it's flat, slick, you can't be on that front brake too hard, it's going to just tuck. Mm -hmm. So that's something you've got to assess every corner, every, every different track, right? But, uh, so you kind of figure out, and, and I try to set myself up down the straightaway to where I kind of turn and I'm, I'm coming right at the corner so I can brake harder mm -hmm. in more of a straight line. But some tracks just don't allow, allow you to do that. But you know, as hard as you can be on that front brake, downshift, you know, a lot of people I, I see, they'll downshift once and then downshift again, or they'll pull their clutch into downshift. Just bang that thing down into second or whatever gear you want mm -hmm. and let the engine brake help slow you down. You don't clutch it when you're downshift, No, right? you just, bang it down. just bang it down. And I. I I tease Jay about this all the time because it's a bad habit he has. He'll come into a turn and pull his clutch all the way in. And you hear him go, run, run, run as he's coming in. Don't do that. That, that engine's a very consistent brake for you. Mm -hmm. Utilize it, you know, mm -hmm. let that help you slow down and consistently bring you into the corner. Yeah. Well, I jumped a little bit on 125 and it was a completely different animal. Like <laughs> there's like no engine brake, no nothing. So I was blowing through some turns, but uh, getting a little bit used to this uh, 350. All right, David, well, thanks a lot. This was a good day. We rode for like maybe three hours. Uh, this is this dirt is good. And uh, tell me a little more about that app. So uh, all these things that you just told me now, I would be able to look it up on the app uh, like in a couple of months or so, or how would it That's work? That's right, May 28th we launch. And uh, you know, I've got my own whole channel with all, all different coaching and we all kind of started with very fundamental platform things. And then we're gonna build and get more progressively technical as we go. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a lot of foundational things early. And then as you continue to follow the paths, it'll get more and more technical until we've covered everything. You know, okay. So cool. flat turns, rutted turns, sandy turns, you name it, nice. we're, gonna, we're gonna cover nice. it all. Jumps, whoops, you know, we're starting with technique and just body positioning, foot positioning. Uh, and like I said, each guy's got his own theories and his own path that got him to where they are and um, it's neat to see the differences right on i'm excited to see uh, that app all right guys well thanks for watching uh, david thanks for teaching me how to ride a little bit better i'm gonna have a link below in the name of the app that will come out in a few months so you can check it out and don't forget guys whatever you do stay motivated see you guys later